Good afternoon, fellow music therapists. My name is Seneca Block. I'm the Expressive Therapy Program Manager for Connor Integrative Health Network at University Hospitals in Cleveland, Ohio. I am joined today by David Knott from Seattle Children's Hospital. We have been asked by AMTA to act as members in a COVID-19 task force. In this task force, we have developed suggestions for delivery of virtual music therapy services. We'll be presenting those today, and we have developed a three-tiered approach to help communicate this process. I will pass it over to David to begin that. However, before I do, I'd like to share what we hope is an overarching key takeaway from this video. And that really is, we as music therapists have an opportunity to showcase our relevance in a time of great need. We can do so by evolving to meet these demands uh, that are being put upon us by the COVID-19 pandemic. We hope that these suggestions will help others in our field uh, implement music therapy programming virtually. And with that said, I'll be passing it over to David Knott to talk about the three-tiered approach. David? Thanks, Seneca. This three-tiered model provides music therapists concrete ways of targeting and grouping their work, as well as ways of thinking about and communicating how they're providing a relevant and useful virtual service. It also allows each music therapist on ramps to their virtual service development so that they can get started right away, given what works for them and the clients or patients that they serve. Next slide. Virtual music therapy. Tier one, curate online resources. Assemble a list of online resources useful for your clients and patients. Tier two, create original content. Develop and record short videos, audio podcasts, or other content to address therapeutic goals. Tier three, implement virtual music therapy telehealth. Via telephone or video conferencing, what works best considering the needs and resources of those you serve? Next slide. Tier one, curate online resources. The internet can be overwhelming for anyone to navigate and even more as your clients and their caregivers struggle to find useful resources during this global health crisis. You can use your skills and perspectives as a music therapist to identify pre-existing content such as videos, or music making instructions that reinforce the therapeutic applications of music, social and emotional learning concepts, or that provide comfort or inspiration. Collect, organize, and share this list of music engagement videos that are suitable for the populations you serve. If you're in private practice, these will likely be welcome resources as you have the best perspective on what is appropriate for those individuals you serve. If you work in an organization, communicate with digital health partners and those responsible for maintaining the website so they can use your expertise to identify the most useful resources for the population served. Note that these resources may require copyright permissions, especially on public platforms. Seek further permissions or clarity if required by the source content owners. Next slide. Tier two, create original content. Develop, record, and post short videos or other original content to address therapeutic goals. Again, your experience as a music therapist and your relationship with the patient or client will make these videos more useful for those you serve. Are there songs you've used in sessions that might be appropriate to create videos for? Here are some examples. Finger plays for infants and toddlers developmental play songs, progressive muscle relaxation or imagery and music relaxation videos for school age, adolescent, young adult, or adult, therapeutic music lessons for all ages. If possible, use original compositions, improvisations, or music from the public domain. Remember, copyright protection still applies. Consider licensing or permissions to use others' music. Music sources and publishers must be referenced and recognized. Thank you, David. Moving on to tier three, implementing VMT, a telehealth approach. So I'll walk through three uh, subcategories, including some practical considerations, some operational considerations, and some clinical considerations. 
So practical considerations, uh, think about a patient or client's ability and ease of access. Is there a caregiver that could assist with that technology? And again, though many organizations are relaxing their HIPAA standards, use what is approved by your organization. Some operational considerations. Identify essential technology and workstations. Thinking about your hardware, your computer, digital interface, microphone, webcam, software. Are you using GarageBand for Mac? Are you using Cubase for PC? And then, some, uh, then also remembering to practice and practice some more. Remembering that technology is a skill. So operational considerations continued. Uh, so how will you initiate contact with your patient? Uh, will you create marketing flyers to help let your clients or patients know that your services have went virtual? Uh, what will be the method for contacting those patients? Some audio options are the phone, Google Voice, Jabber, WebEx. Some video options are Zoom, Skype, Face, FaceTime. Note that the U.S. government has relaxed restrictions on all media platforms allowed for use. However, consult with your specific site or your organization. I'm now sharing a procedural flow chart. Now, this is developed for the medical setting. However, it can be used uh, and adapted for private practice as well. And I'm not going to go through the entire slides of your video right now and read through these individual boxes, but it basically outlines a way to help track uh, how you're seeing patients or clients and uh, a way to organize that in a way. Lastly, I'll talk about some virtual music therapy clinical considerations. Uh, as you're starting, think about what interventions or procedures that are VMT deliverable. So things like music assisted relaxation imagery, lyric and songwriting techniques, playlist creations, and resource identification. Pass it back over to David. All right, thanks Seneca. So next steps, follow AMTA on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and reach out to colleagues to stay connected. Don't wait for the coronavirus pandemic to end. Use this model to see what you can do right now to support those you serve through music therapy. These three tiers are on ramps to develop virtual music therapy services that work for you and the clients and patients that you serve. See what's possible and make it happen for them. Thank you. For more information on AMTA's COVID-19 resources and task force contacts, go to www.musictherapy.org and click on COVID-19 on the homepage.